So most of us acknowledge that the world is round. There's a lot of evidence to support this, from satellite photos to eclipse shadows, to the fact that boats disappear over the horizon. That's all evidence that the world is round. But one thing I've heard people use to counter flat Earth theories is to say, wait, when you're in an airplane, you can actually see the curvature of the Earth from your seat. That's proof that the world is round. And yes, the world is round. There is no doubt about that. But can you see the curvature of the Earth from an airplane to prove it? Well, I've got news for you. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here. And today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you whether or not you can actually see the curvature of the Earth from your plane when you're at cruising altitude. But to get started, I want to throw it back to some tests we can do on the ground to prove that the world is in fact round. Thousands of years ago, one of the way the ancient Greeks concluded that the Earth was spherical was by observing ships on a horizon. Boats moving away from an observer on the beach disappear with the appearance that they are sinking into the sea. This illusion happens because the ship is moving further along the curve of the Earth, kinda like this. I'm using this USB converter to make the point and obviously this is a little bit smaller than our planet and this USB converter is a little bit smaller than our Earth. But at real world scales, if you are at sea level and of average height, the horizon is about five kilometers away. That's the distance you can see because beyond that, the curve of the Earth gets in the way. Some of the ancient Greeks were also pretty good at geometry, considering it was invented by one named Euclid in the fourth century BC. Based on the measurements of the horizon using boats, you can calculate the radius of the Earth. And the Greeks did exactly that, using this formula where D is the distance of visibility and H is the elevation of the observer above sea level. And now that we know this formula, we can use it to determine at what angle the horizon will be at a given altitude. So let's go with 10,000 meters or the average cruising altitude of your commercial jetliner. Crunching the numbers, it turns out that at cruising altitude, the horizon of the Earth would only be about three degrees lower than it would be at sea level. So not quite enough to see the curvature of the Earth, even if the conditions were ideal, like on a clear day and over the ocean. And on top of that, airplane windows distort the light coming into the cabin, causing an effect that's similar to a wide angle lens. So that curve on the horizon that you might be familiar with is due to the window and not likely due to your altitude. And another thing going against you is the field of view that you get from the passenger window, which is more like this. And to see the curvature of the Earth from 10,000 meters, even just a little bit, you'd need about a 60 degree field of view. And I know it feels like we're really, really high up. And for us tiny humans, we are really high up. But if you were to shrink the Earth down to the size of a beach ball, all of the breathable atmosphere would be about as thick as a sheet of paper or a cleaning cloth. Imagine that. That's the breathable atmosphere and our airplanes are flying just in there, just in this little thickness. So although it feels like we're like up here when we're flying and we can see the curvature, we really can't because you need to shrink this plane down super, 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 super small and then stick it into that thin layer that's going around the entire Earth, also known as our atmosphere. But remember the ancient Greeks, you don't actually need to be in the air to find evidence of the Earth's curvature. All you need to do is go to a beach with binoculars or a good telephoto lens on a clear day and watch a boat going over the horizon and you should see something like this where the boat is seemingly being gobbled up by the Earth. In reality, it's just that the curve of our planet is getting in the way. Yet another demonstration that the Earth isn't flat just added to the mounds of evidence. But if you ever need to make your case, know that there is a lot going for you, but that curve that you can see from your airplane window or the lack thereof probably isn't one of them. Thanks for watching. I'll leave links to a bunch of different articles and videos that talk more about the Earth's curvature and those formulas as well if you want to check those out. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week and I will see you in the next video. Yet another... Yet another demonstration. Yet another...